Right. In his speech to a joint session of Congress, President Trump mm -hmm. renewed his commitment uh, to child care and paid family leave. Take a listen. Yeah. My administration wants to work with members of both parties to make child care accessible and affordable, to help ensure new parents that they have paid family leave. Paid family leave, a big Democratic priority for a long time. Is that something you could work with the president on? Well, I would certainly hope so. The first conversation I had with him after the election, that week of the election, we talked about that subject, and it's subject that his family is interested in as well. Ivanka. But what he has proposed is something that benefits, 70% uh, of the benefits go to people making over $100,000 a year. So we have to revisit that this is not what this country needs in that regard. I do think that there's some bipartisanship uh, where we can have, um, we can come together. It doesn't happen to be in his proposal. Before you go, I need to ask you about a crude joke told by a Democratic member of Congress. Before you go there, though, let me say about yeah. his, his uh, speech, all of this that he's doing, the deflection, is to deflect from the fact that he does <clears throat> not have a jobs bill, he does not have an infrastructure bill, he does not have any of the things he talked about, renegotiating NAFTA, has not put Congress, uh, made the communication with Congress on all of that. So understand this, this is the deflector where we started, mm -hmm. the deflector in chief. No jobs, no infrastructure bill, no nothing, and no major bill signed uh, since he uh, came to the, uh, the White House.